When we take the time to pray, reflect, and count our blessings, we realize that God has blessed us in so many ways. Do you know the best way to respond to a blessing? With joyful gratitude. There is a wonderful story in the Gospel of Luke about gratitude. One day, while Jesus was traveling to Jerusalem, ten men with leprosy approached him and asked him to cure them. Most people would not go anywhere near a person with leprosy because the disease is very contagious. But Jesus had mercy on them. He blessed them and said, Go and show yourselves to the priests. Along the way, the lepers realized that they had been healed. It was a miracle. When one of the lepers saw that he was cured of this horrible disease, he was filled with joy and immediately went back to Jesus and praised him at the top of his voice. Jesus asked the man, where are the others? Jesus had cured all 10 lepers, but only one said thank you. Jesus had just changed their lives forever, but they couldn't even be bothered to come back and say thank you. That's rude. Don't you think, Hemingway? Very rude. Maybe the others intended to thank Jesus, but they got distracted with life. Or maybe they thought to themselves, I will thank Jesus tomorrow or next week. The one leper who came back teaches us many lessons. Be grateful when God blesses you. It's rude not to be grateful. And when God blesses you abundantly, say thank you in a big way. <laughs> hey, Isabella, where's your lunch? I'm sorry, but I forgot my lunch money today. That's okay, Isabella. You can share some of mine. Mine too. We all can, right everybody? Even Hemingway. Go on, Hemingway. Wow, thanks everyone. The leper who did come back didn't just whisper thank you into Jesus' ear. He praised Jesus at the top of his voice. Thank you! You mean like that? Yeah, just like that. We shouldn't put off important things, like daily prayer and going to church. Yeah. After all, when did the one leper go back and thank Jesus? Immediately. Bingo! He didn't put it off. When we acknowledge God's blessings, we become filled with joy. What is that dad always says? Oh yeah, I remember. Every person in every Bible story has a lesson to teach you. Right, so each Sunday at Mass, think about the people and their readings and what lesson God is trying to teach you through their lives. <laughs>